Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here, and this video is a video on why you should never dry fire a 22, or any rim fire for that matter. Because, well, this this gun in front of you here is a Marlin model 1897, and this particular model, I want to say, was a reproduction of the original made in the 1940s but don't quote me on that because this gun actually looks older than that but I'm no expert on telling age but this gun was it was sitting in my grandfather's closet for years and years and it was never shot and I asked my grandfather if I could take it out and borrow it one uh, for like a weekend or something because I wanted to shoot a lever action 22 because I never shot one before and I wanted to shoot shorts out of it and I also bought some long rifles too because those are also fun and the, well the first problem that was wrong with this gun was I loaded it up with bullets and I worked the lever and the bullets weren't chambering into the gun and I really didn't understand why that happened so I sent it to a friend and he told he showed me that there was no spring in the magazine tube. So that was kind of a bummer, but we took the uh end plug out <clears throat> which was supposed to be like the end of the spring cuz that was still in there. So we took that out and then we could just lift it up like lift the barrel up and crank the lever and that could chamber the round into the magazine. So then I took it out shooting and the first shot I put a 22 long rifle in the barrel or in the chamber and I shot and I went to eject it and the lever wouldn't work. And I really couldn't figure out why that what was wrong with it. So I had to force the lever open and the bullet casing was still stuck in the barrel. So we had to take the gun apart and we had to pry the bullet casing out. And I did this with about three bullets and the same thing happened with all three so I gave up. And I was able to shoot shorts out of it somewhat. They still kind of got stuck in the barrel and it was still hard to work. So I took it back to my friend and he me and him took the gun apart and I'm going to actually show you how to take this gun apart and show you. So the way you take this gun apart is you just twist this screw here and this gun I think, I don't think the screw is actually supposed to come all the way out but it does. There's probably something missing on it but that's not really important. Oh you have to have the hammer back and then it comes apart like that. So then here's your bolt, okay, and then this is your firing pin. And as far as I can tell, the firing pin is fine. I mean, it did shoot. It actually shot the 22s. So the firing pin wasn't actually the problem. The problem was... After years and years of dry firing, I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually a dent. Uh, let's see, do I have a flashlight somewhere? There's a dent in the barrel, in the top of the barrel. Let's see if I can get this. Okay. So, there's a dent, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a dent up here. And that's from years and years of having this gun dry fired. And I'm not 100% sure on what it what it is, but something to do with like the head spacing on the bullet causes the the bullet casing to stay stuck in the gun. So, 
if you if any time you shoot a long rifle out of this gun probably nine times or maybe actually 99 times out of a hundred the bullet casing is going to stay stuck in the chamber and you have to pry it out and that's no fun when you do it with shorts i'd say about nine times out of ten the 22 short casing gets stuck in the chamber and you know after a while of having to take the gun apart after the after the casing gets stuck in the chamber it just it's not worth it and i officially decided that this gun is just not worth shooting so i call this my non-functioning firearm because it doesn't eject it will doesn't extract or eject the rounds or the casings. So I took this out shooting like twice and decided I was done with it. So lesson learned, don't dry fire a 22 or any other type of rim fire like a 17 HMR or something like that because after years and years, if assuming you still have that gun, you may have this problem. So that was just my little lesson of the day for you guys. That's all I have. I'm Redneck Mini 14, and until next time, be safe.